So Anne Webber today came out with an interesting statement. And she said, people have to remember politicians are not shit on their shoes. And what that means, you know, she's more or less saying, in other words, that the people take very little politicians. Um, and the only thing I say to Anne Webber is, I wonder why. I really do wonder why. And they wonder to themselves. And I often see them wondering why they get so much hate. Um, and I don't think they realise to themselves that over the last few years, you know, they've just been throwing crumbs to the peasants and they've been living like kings in the palaces. Um, and that's basically just saying it's straight. Um, they, they, res- they want respect, but they give to the people no respect. They give them no dignity, no respect at all. Um, like there's millions of examples I could give. Um, one example that kind of comes straight to mind Charlie Flanagan and Leo Franco, at the time they wanted to come in with the black and hands. They went off and the one were very upset when they couldn't uh, come in with the black hands because everybody upward about it and everybody was giving them all the abuse over it. Which still to this day I don't I don't know where they tried to where they pulled it out of that they wanted to do that. Um I don't know why what was going through their heads because the, the black and tans to commemorate them, like what is wrong with them? Like seriously, what is wrong with these People and Charlie Flanagan still TD and how is he? How who would like like who folded for him seriously, um, because that I think that was the time you know anybody should have realized that this government I don't know what's wrong with them, um, but yeah and then you know thousands upon thousands of people homeless people who can't afford a house because the government and then you have the government ministers TDs giving themselves this year alone and pubs restaurants and everything like that shut down not opening again some of them. Give themselves a four thousand euro pay rise, um, for day that's just that's just yeah you know, that just tells you everything, and you wonder why people be very tick with politicians. You wonder why, um, again, where's the respect, Dan Robert? Can you please um acknowledge where's the respect to taking a four thousand euro pay rise, um, and then people lying in the streets and people who are out of the job and under job seekers allowance or under COVID unemployment payment. Where's that? Where's the solidarity then? The door bars still open. And um, where's the solidarity? Where's the solidarity with the pubs? You would wonder why people be very tick. You would really wonder why. And I don't think they can see it. Why people are very tick. At the time, Charlie Flanagan can, couldn't understand. And this is the perfect example. They couldn't understand. Leo and Charlie couldn't understand why people were so tick about it. Why people were getting up in arms about it. Um, because at the time, it was nearly going to be a revolution. Because people were just so outraged that they were even consider this. And at the time, you know, it was the biggest. And I still think it's the biggest disgrace. This government ever came up with, and that, that's saying something. That's a, a quite a cherry pick to pick, but there's a lot of things this government has done, um, and they and they wonder why. They really, really wonder why people give out to them. People giving out to them online. There's a perfect example. There's a perfect example, Anne Robert. Um, there's nothing to justify it. There's really not to justify. It. Then you have Garthgate, for example. They were giving out the time people uproaring to every TD and every senator in the country because everybody was giving up back about them that they couldn't go outside their house, they couldn't go anywhere and the day beforehand they give them new restrictions for everybody else to follow and then they went off and broke every one of them um, and they wonder why people are still take about it and they're still whinging that the Supreme Court Judge Seamus Wolf has been brought into it all the time and they wonder why and he's still down and he's getting a pay rise he might as well get a medal um, can anybody see what I'm talking about? It's just crazy.